Hi everyone, it's a special day because it is book launch day for my fourth book. This one here, Draw Your Way Botanical Watercolour. So this is my first ever activity book, the reverse colouring book. It is out um, and now I know for some countries it's out in November, but I've got some exciting news because once it's out here means I can finally put it in my Etsy shop and I can do signed copies. So, okay, thank you so much for pre-ordering. It really made a huge difference. And if you're like, oh, I pre-ordered, but I want one now. Well, maybe you can get a second one, maybe. You might want one for you, maybe a gift for someone else. Um, but thank you so much for all your support because this book is something a little different, but I'm so passionate about it. We went to Cheltenham Literary Festival on Sunday and did a free drop-in workshop with everybody and we had adults, children, grannies, grandparents, uh, all ages and all artistic abilities loved it. So that's a very good sign. And the other thing I had a chance to try out a set of pens that I've decided to sell in my shop um, as a really fantastic compliment to this book. So I'm going to tell you all about this set of De La Rowney uh, little black fine liners that will be a lovely set with this book. And so I'm gonna be selling them either on their own in my online shop or as a little bundle with signed copies of Draw Your Way. So happy launch day, everyone. Let's see what these can do. So let's have a look at this wonderful set of black fine liners. So you get six pens in your little box and out they all come. I'm always an expert unboxer, as you can tell. <laughs> there we go. So they come on this little card and they are De La Rowney black fine liner and you can see on each pen you've got the nib thickness. So I thought, let's have a little look at the different thicknesses, just so you can see what kind of a range you get in your set. So I started with the thickest there, 0.8 millimeters, just to see how it goes. Now I've got the 0.5 millimeters. And what's lovely is just how smooth the paint, or the paint, the ink flows off the pen. And I'm doing this on watercolor papers, so I'm giving it a real test because I'm giving it a bit of a bumpy ride. Now these pens are really lovely to hold, they're a nice weight. And the other thing is, is they are colour fast, so if you ever wanted to use them for line and wash masterpieces in watercolour and paint over them, then you'll be fine because they hold their hold their line, or well, you can really see the the thickness really starting to change. As we go down. And so even if you aren't always using them for reverse colouring in, you will find these to be an extremely useful addition to your watercolour or art kit in general. So here we've got the finest one, 0.05 millimetres, wow. Oh, I forgot to do a squiggle. Let's do a little squiggle. There we go. Do a little flower, as it's a little pen. And there we have it. Some really, really fantastic, easy to use, and in my opinion, a very affordable set of pens. So why don't we have just a little go with them in the book? Now, unlike all of my other books, this is an actual activity book that I want you to get stuck in with and actually draw on. And this is our copy that we have in the house that everyone is allowed to come and have a go with. And you can see here a few little illustrations. Um, and I love these pages in particular because even though they sort of start off as flowers, and to be honest, every page in the book, although it is flower orientated, I just love to see how the imagination can run wild. So I saw a baseball mitt, a, a, fi a fireplace, a weird like stegosaurus dinosaur alligator hybrid. But this is your permission to crack the spine of this book and get it really nice 
and flat on your desk because that is what these books are for. So if I'm here doing some nice sort of delicate work with my finest 0.5 nib, oh it's just so nimble. I love how nimble this one is. So let me see, what can I see here? I think I see a little butterfly. Now I went to um, Cheltenham Literary Festival over the weekend and I cannot get over uh, how creative and amazing the people who came for my drop-in workshop were. So we got some big tablecloths printed, paper tablecloths printed with various splodges from the pages of this book and we just said right go for it see what you can find and obviously draw your way draw what you can see and we <laughs> just had such a hilarious time there was one lady turned up and said I left my glasses at home so I can't really see anything and I was like well do you know what I already think you're going to have the best time of everybody and lo and behold she painted and drew some of the most amazing, wild, <laughs> expressive and uh, creative pieces. So it just goes to show that just the longer you allow yourself to sit and see stuff, more things um, appear to you. Uh, and I mean, doing this duck the other day, or bird or turkey, I'm not even sure what it is, but it just sort of appeared to me the more and longer I looked at it. So if I pick up my thickest pen, I feel like I've just seen a little sort of flounder fish here. And the best thing is, because I'm now able to stock both the, the book and the pens in my Etsy shop, if you very, very kindly pre-ordered and you've been waiting for your book just that bit too long because it's out in the UK but it's just got a November release date for a few international countries, you could always get yourself a second one. And then you've got a gift for somebody else, maybe for upcoming for Christmas, and then one for yourself that you can get just that little bit sooner. And the ones in my Etsy shop and website shop are all signed as well, which is pretty cool. It's funny, I didn't really see that until I'd sat with this book and just looked and allowed my imagination to just run wild a little bit. And the idea is, is that the page just starts to fill and fill and maybe, just maybe, this might be a, a strange little fish. I found, it was interesting, there were kind of themes going on with the workshop where some people did an awful lot of fish. Uh, some people just loved turning, it was a lot of animals, a lot of people like turning the little flower shapes into animals. And then I've turned this into some kind of crazy fish I've never even seen before, but the thing is, is I'm having so much fun and I'm enjoying myself and I think for adults in particular to be able to try and unlock some kind of childish imagination that they once had, that let's face it, it's very challenging to find the time to get that back but you just feel so much better if you did. So, the fine line pens that I've got here that work so beautifully in the book are available 
in my Etsy shop and we do a bundle with this and the book together because let's face it, if you buy the book and you suddenly go, ah, oh, bother. I wish I'd got the pens. Isn't it much easier if we just do it all for you? So you can get the book and the pens, signed copies in my shop available now. Thank you so much for all your support over the years, but also over the most recent weeks where I've had the debacle with the Instagram account being suspended and disabled. Um, it's such a busy time for us at this time of year with the advent calendar launching, the new book coming out. We were so worried that we would miss you all. Um, we wouldn't be able to find you. You wouldn't be able to find me on Instagram. But don't forget, if you would love to come and join my Instagram adventures where we have all sorts of beautiful photos and reels and things as well as what I do on here, you can find me at Harriet underscore de underscore de Winton, spelling out Harriet de Winton with the underscores in between each one. And thank you so much and happy drawing, happy doodling. Uh, and I hope you spread the word of reverse colouring because it's really rather wonderful.